What's up everybody? So after talking to a buddy of mine at work today, I realized I should probably do some introduction videos, like how to play guitar videos. Um, you know, what do I need to learn? What do I need to know uh, to get started? So that's what I'm here to do right now. First off, if you're playing an acoustic guitar, Generally, I mean, you start in the cowboy chord area and people call them cowboy chords because, you know, you sit around the campfire and kumbaya. I wonder how many of you know this one. Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. So that's a G and you do a G by and your middle finger on the third fret on the top string, your pointer finger on the second fret on the second string from the top, and your ring finger on the third fret on the bottom string. This is your bread and butter chord. These are all bread and butter chords, but then you have C, which is ring on the third fret, middle on the second fret of the third string, and pointer on the second fret of the second string. Then we have A minor. Your middle and ring fingers are gonna be on your second fret on your third and fourth strings, or your D and G. And your pointer is gonna be on the first fret of the fifth down string, so that one. A minor chord is different from a major chord because it sounds sadder. So here's a normal A chord. Here's an A minor chord. So, and then we're gonna do a D. A D chord is your ring finger is on the third fret of the second from the bottom or the fifth down middle finger on the second fret of the bottom string and your pointer finger on the second fret of the string of the third from the bottom so that's what we're going to go with for right now how many songs can you play with those chords like a whole bunch of them. Pretty much with those chords and maybe like a B minor, you can play most of, of what's on the radio. You know, maybe not now, but uh, most of country radio anyway. I would say those, those chords pretty much cover it. Um, you might want to learn F as well. That's your ring finger on the third fret of the third string from the top on the second and your middle finger on the second fret of the next string down and then your pointer on the first fret that's F. What you should practice is changing between those chords. Just do one strong do the next one, strum, do the next one, it doesn't even matter. That's an alternative way that I, I personally do a G sometimes if I'm coming from a C. This is my grandfather's silver guitars. Your grandpa's guitars. It managed to end up in my possession. It's about, I, I had it dated between 1954 and 57. So it couldn't be any newer than that. Pretty awesome. I'll do a video. Oh, oh yeah, an E minor. 
super easy. Um, e minor is you use your ring and your middle finger and you put your ring on the third string on the second fret and your middle on the top the second string on the second second string on the second fret that e minor is the basis of the power chord which we'll get to later, especially in the electric guitar one. Um, so there's your basics, but what we're gonna do now, just pick the chord that's the easiest one to hold. Uh, whichever one that is for you, I don't know. Uh, to me, it's probably a G. I can just kind of like lay my hand there and it's a G um, or a D. And we're gonna work on this hand now. So with your right hand, this is your rhythm carrier. This is the, the guy that picks the strings. You have to be careful not to hit them too hard or your chord's gonna sound bad. Also, something to look out for uh, when you're doing your chords is you are probably pushing them down too hard. If you can hear that. That's not me moving the guitar around. I can change the pitch of a string by pushing down on it too hard. So you have to be careful to fret it to fret it hard enough, but also not too hard as to kick yourself out of tune. So even if you're playing everything right, you'll feel like this still doesn't sound right if you have a good ear. Another thing to look out for is dead strings. And when you're practicing your chord shapes, make sure that your hand is in a comfortable place uh, that you're not accidentally like muting a string that you don't need to mute. So let's say I've got my ring finger a little bit like this. I see that all the time in my young students, they'll, they'll do like this because it's hard to put that much pressure and they're really putting too much pressure. But their finger will do like that, bend down, and then they'll, they'll accidentally be muting this bottom string. And that's what it sounds like. It's not doing you any good. So make sure that all of your strings are ringing. <laughs> you can practice that too. Just, uh, Music is generally, most music is in 3-4 or 4-4 four, four timing, sometimes 6-8. Um, but most of the time, we're going to say probably 80%, 90% of the time, songs are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what a metronome sounds like. Something else you can do is practice to a metronome. We'll get into that later too. Um, but now we're just going to hold that chord that we like, whichever one it is for you. Um, but I'm going to go with the G and maybe you should too for practice purposes because it's going to sound bad if you uh, do a different one. But we're going to do like the most basic strum pattern that we can do on acoustic. Now, the most basic you can do is just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> After you get used to doing that um, and trying to be like in rhythm, uh, that's something you can practice with a metronome. Uh, the Ultimate Guitar app has a good metronome. Uh, you can just download a standalone net metronome app. Your phone is your best friend when it comes to guitar, man. I mean, if you're not watching this on your phone, it's on a computer and you can get all the same stuff on there. So, um, but now we're going to do a little bit more complex, but not even as hard. 
uh, strumming pattern. And you'll see my hand is moving the same way. I'm just choosing when to strike the strings differently. probably heard that about a thousand times in a bunch of different songs but what you're doing is you just rock your hand back and forth to keep your time steady because if I was trying to go it would be easy to get lost and not do it correctly but you can just that's the beauty of acoustic. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in my video, okay? Do you have do you have rights to do that? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Kids, man. <laughs> um, anyways, so where was I? Right. Make sure your arm is in a comfortable place where you can just kind of hang it over the top of your guitar and rock it. It's, you know, if you're sitting like me or if you're standing up, either way, you'll find a comfortable position. Um, so the way that that particular strumming pattern is, you're like a downstroke. So three down strokes. So it's like three down strokes and then a down up and then a. So if you need to do it like that to start with, do that. But this is how I strum. It's how you just, you'll, you'll, you'll become more fluid as you do it. This helps. Trey, this one's for you, buddy. Mm -hmm.